Hey what's up guys this is Dom from MacMixing.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up an iPod Touch and this is one of the newer iPod Touches obviously it's the white one and I'm going to show you guys how to turn this on and set it up and get going with your iPod Touch so you can start using it. I have not powered this on yet this is brand new I just opened it it has not been used ever nor has it ever been powered on by me I'm sure somebody at the Apple factory did it or whatever but so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and there you go you see the nice little Apple logo there and we're gonna wait for it to start up and basically you guys you can do this without a computer so if you don't have a computer handy or you know whatever you don't need a computer to set up these new iPod touches now you can just do it on the iPod Touch itself, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna get in here and we're gonna set it all up. All right, so we're at the initial screen here to get it going. And basically what you wanna do is slide over here like that. And it's gonna take you into the welcome screen and you're gonna select your language here. There's other languages that you can select if you push this button here, but I'm doing English. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the next arrow select your country or region and mine has United States selected by default and we're gonna click next and then right here you can enable uh, location-based services that allows maps and uh, other apps that you install to know your location and uh, basically it, it's up to you if you want to enable that or not I'm gonna go ahead and enable that because I want to use find my iPhone for this in case this ever gets lost because this is actually for my daughter. So basically, I'm going to select one of these networks. I have Dom's network right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And I'm going to enter in my password for my network. All right, so I have my network entered in. Uh, I'm gonna click join. All right, it joined Dom's network. And then we're going to click next at the top. It's gonna say activating your iPod. Okay, it's it's setting it up. We wanna set it up as a new iPod Touch. So we're gonna click next. And I'm gonna sign in with my Apple ID here so we can get all that going. And we'll go ahead and type in my Apple ID. And so basically once you get your Apple ID typed in there, go ahead and click next. And it's gonna sign in with your Apple ID. And then you're gonna have these terms and conditions to agree or disagree to. If you disagree, then I don't think you can set up your iPod. So just read it if you need to, you know, go through it and click agree. Okay, I agree. Signing in with the Apple ID. It's taking a few minutes to set it up. And as soon as this sets up, we'll be close to rolling. All right, so we got that all set up, and now it's asking us if we want to use iCloud. Um, this is probably not necessary. I don't need to use iCloud on this because it's for my daughter, so I'm gonna use, click do not use iCloud. Click next, and diagnostics and usage, I don't care about that, don't send. Register with Apple. Yeah, I'm gonna register with my Apple ID so they know that I've purchased an iPod Touch and thank you so you can click start using your ipod touch and you are done setting up the ipod basically it's all set up now as you can see we have everything and we're able to access everything so um that being said you guys it's pretty simple to set up an ipod touch and if this helped you please comment below or like this video with a thumbs up and also please uh subscribe here in this button and our twitter link is here our Facebook link is here. Go like us and follow us, please. I appreciate it, you guys. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching. This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and have a good day.